Howdy folks, Kyle here with another very quick tutorial for you. This is on some new stuff that's in Godot 4, and this is on exporting custom resources. It is the single most requested uh, PR slash work that has ever been made for the entire Godot engine. So thank you to Will Nations for putting this together and coming up with a really nice implementation. I will say this up front, there's a few little bugs with it, um, but it's nothing that's difficult to work around or anything like that. So what I'm going to show you here is I've got this folder list resource. I'll have a gist in the uh, information below regarding where you can find this actual resource. And all this does is this goes into a folder, any given folder, and it loads all the resources in that folder. Now these resources are all, in this case, .tres files, but they could be also actual scenes or anything you want. And the reason you might do that, in my case, is I have a list of the enemies, the resources for the enemies, and my resources, as you can see, they have this spawn locale on them. Now this is a type of metadata, if we take a look at this here, spawn locale is a type of metadata that you really don't want to store on the enemy scene directly. It's something that kind of stands above that. You don't want to have to load the enemy scene in order to know where it can possibly spawn. And all I have here is each of these has a list of uh, the spawn locale or spawn locations, enemy spawn locations, that allow it to associate with a given enemy. Now you'll note down here I've got blue, brown, green, red, and yellow enemy resources. But if we go to enemies, I've got blue, brown, green, red, white, yellow. So I don't have white up here as an enemy resource. And what that means at the moment is none of my regions will spawn white. You can see that because uh, if I run this, the spawning will occur after just a little bit. And none of these regions, some of the regions chose not to spawn. I have that on a chance basis. Actually, a number of them didn't. Um, but none of these will ever come up with the pure Godot logo, which is what white would be. It's just tinting the, the logo. Um, so that's really, I think, pretty cool and interesting. Now, the reason you might want to use folders for this is you may want to play around with, for example, what enemies get connected to what spawn locale. So you might have blue enemy go instead to grass or brown to mountain, etc. And you might want to just try it out and have a completely different folder of enemy resources. The other really useful aspect of this approach, using a uh, folder uh, instead of using this folder list resource instead of like an array of resources, is that now all I have to do is hit new resource, go to enemy scene resource. I'll just pick white enemy resource. Double click that, select a particular region, we'll say mountain, I guess. And for the enemy scene, I'll go in and pick enemies white enemy. And that's all I have to do. Note, because I didn't export an array anywhere, I didn't have to click and drag this over to it. I didn't have to find a way to automatically load it. It's just done for me automatically. And now if I run it, you'll see occasionally white ones will spawn in mountain regions. So there's one right there. This middle one has contains all my regions. And that's a little bug just because I was lazy. So the super nice thing about this, if you look at this last region, it's got all that in it, and that is the one that is right in the middle. Uh, my mountain region otherwise is here, so the other that's the only other place the white one at this point from this folder can go. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't have to do a click and drag over. I can just add all my enemy resources. They'll all be loaded automatically, and the rest of the code will just work. It's that simple. That is why this exporting of custom resources is a big deal. You can put things together much more cleanly now and the uh, actual editor will help you with 
things. You see it went back to empty, like I was saying before. But if you hit new folder list resource, in this case, or whatever resource type, it'll bring up the values here and you can put them in and you can do whatever you want with them. So super cool. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll add the gist down below and uh, I'm probably going to publish this project at some point once I get it re reasonably functional. So if you need to see the code, uh, let me know in a comment and I would really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.